When coding in C Sharp, we're always working with different types of data. Commonly, working with that data involves some type of math, so we need to have an understanding of how to do math inside of our apps. Let's take a look at how we can do some basic math with C Sharp. First, we'll declare a couple variables, which will both be integers. Let's call them A and B. I'll set A to be equal to 15 and B to be equal to 5. We'll use these two variables to do some basic math. I'll create another variable called C, which will hold the result of our math operations. And last, I'll use right line to display the result, the variable C. When doing math in C Sharp, we use what's known as operators. You already know a couple of these. A plus sign is the operator for addition, a minus sign for subtraction. Let's start with addition. The C variable will equal A plus B. This will add A and B and assign its value to the C variable. If I run the app, A plus B equals 20. One thing to note is that C Sharp determines what to do with this plus sign depending on the data type of the variable. For example, here we have integers, which will be added together. Earlier, when we discussed strings, we used the same plus sign to concatenate two strings together. It all depends on the data type that the operator is affecting. Moving on to subtraction, let's just replace the plus sign with a minus sign. If I run the program, a minus b is 10. Simple enough. For multiplication, we can't use an x like we do in standard math. We have to use another operator. Since we can't use x, we use an asterisk. Replace the minus sign with an asterisk, and 15 times 5 equals 75. With division, the operator we use is the forward slash. If we replace the asterisk with a forward slash, run the program, and 5 goes into 15 three times. Now, let's change the value of a to 14. If we run the app, 14 divided by 5 is 2. When doing division, C Sharp doesn't calculate the remainder for you. It only gives you the number of times that the full amount of B, which is 5, goes into 14. To get the remainder, we need another operator. We use the modulus operator, which is the percent sign. If we replace the forward slash with a percent sign, run the app, and we get the remainder of 4. 5 goes into 14 twice, with 4 left over. So that's simple enough, but what if you want to know how many times 5 goes into 14 with a little more accuracy? What if you wanted to know if it goes into 14 2.3 times or 2.5 times? To do that, you have to use the correct data type. Instead of declaring these variables as integers, let's change A and C to the data type float. I'll change the modulus operator back to the division operator, run the app, and 5 goes into 14 2.8 times. The B variable could be either an integer or a float for this example. It makes no difference. With these five operators, you're able to do any simple calculations that you can think of. Once you have a thorough understanding of these, you'll be ready to move on to the next video where we'll discuss the order of operations that C-Sharp uses when doing more complex math problems.